What's going on guys? Always win here and today we are back with some Clash Royale. Now it's been a few days since I've posted Clash Royale so I might be a little rusty. I have played here and there. I haven't played exactly too much. Uh, we just started a war in my clan so I was doing that all morning. But we are going to be using this deck now. I'm not a big fan of the bats. I don't like the bats at all. But I thought, you know what, I might as well try to get used to them, try to get good with them. And right here, we possibly have the worst starting hand you can ever have. So, I just now made this deck just to see, you know, just trying to make a deck good that works with the bats. So, hopefully this could do something for us. I'm not exactly sure. And that was actually kind of cool there. You see the goblin pushing the frozen goblin, so that was kind of cool. But, again, I don't really know how to use the... I don't know how to use the bats, so... We'll just see if they're good or not. And right here, we have the knight going in on the tower. And I think I might just fireball this. Just so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, there's a golem. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to worry about him. And like I said again, it just made this deck. So I don't even know if this is going to work or not. But let's just hope so. So we'll go down with that. And he's going to kill our bats right there. But nice, we are going to take out. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. So, okay, no, 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 not the Infernal Dragon. Okay, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and play down our knight. And, of course, the Infernal Dragon is going to lock into the tower. And he's going to take that out. So, as you see right there, the bats are trash. I'd much rather have a different card in to replace the bats. But, you know what, that's okay. I might not even use the bats the rest of the matches. Because, honestly, level they're level 5. So they're not even standard. Or they're not even up to par with my other card levels. But... It is what it is, you know. So we'll go ahead and send Hog Rider over here with an Ice Spirit. And let's just see what he plays. Hopefully, okay, it's an Electro Wizard. I can go ahead and actually Fireball that. And I think that is going to take him out. Nice. So nice. Hog Rider is going to get some really good hits on that. And actually, that's just a Fireball away. So we already got Tower. It's one currently 1-1. One to one. So here goes. He's going to come in with another Golem Push. So I'm going to get my Inferno Tower down a little early. And uh, I'm going to try to get a Princess... And I'm just going to try to see what he plays now. I definitely think he's going to be playing something in the middle. But I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so there is a... Okay, maybe not. But we can go ahead and distract and play our bats this way. And let's go ahead and freeze this guy. And let's log this back. And nice. So we're going to take out in the Inferno Dragon, which is perfectly good. And that is what I wanted. So that is definitely good for me. And right here, we have a little push going to be coming up so let's go ahead and use this and let's get a fireball down and hopefully he plays something down nice night which goes down as we take her out right there let's go ahead and get down another inferno tower and we only have a few more seconds before game's over and right there he's gonna actually i think he just mirrored his night witch don't know what that's about but we need to go ahead and fireball his tower and take her out and right here we can go ahead and log this back actually and let's go ahead and Wow, so this is definitely going to be hard. Nice, we did freeze. Let's go and play Bats above the Executioner. Get those down. And let's play Hog Rider here in the middle. And we're just trying to get some damage off. And nice. There goes in the Hog Rider. Now he's going to play a Goblin Gang. And Princess is going to actually take the Goblin Gang out. So that is definitely good. And let's go and play another Princess. There goes another Night Witch. We will go ahead and bring that Golem over here. And get that Night Witch over here. And we can go ahead and actually fireball the night witches to get her out of here and we're gonna kill all her stuff so let's go ahead and get our bats down and we are definitely successfully maybe shutting down this night witch which is gonna be good nice princess gets a perfect beautiful shot right there now we can go ahead and send over our hog rider with a pre-log and a pre-fireball and hopefully we can get something going here hog rider does not even get one hit sadly so executioner is gonna go in we'll go ahead and play our Night down, we can go ahead, and actually we're going to be getting up another Hog Rider as soon as I can get 6 Elixir. Nice, so let's go ahead and send this in. Let's get down a pre-log for that Goblin Gang. He's going to be playing a second Night Witch. Hog Rider needs to... Nice, I think we just won. Oh, please do 2 under 4 damage. That is what I'm talking about. So, Bats coming in clutch for us right there. And, uh, honestly, still don't like the Bats, but it is pretty nice that we won. So, that was a little too close for comfort right there. We were two cups away. So, that's a little too close for comfort to be losing. You know, that was a very close loss. But the bats did end up doing some work to the Inferno Dragon and stuff like that. So, we're going to go ahead and try to use this deck again.
Alright guys, we're going against Apu, and Apu is actually a character from The Simpsons, if you guys did not know. So, right here, I think we're just going to be playing a Hog Rider and a... I'm not going to pre-log just because I don't know what he has, and I don't feel like wasting the two elixir, but this guy has a level 7 wizard, which is normally the level because, you know, tournament standards, but... Definitely what I like to see is somebody playing a wizard because honestly wizards are not the best cards you can get and holy smokes Look at what we have here. Let's go ahead and use our nifty bats right here and hopefully they could do a little something He's gonna actually zap them Let's go get our hog rider down to help throw him off because he did just waste all of his elixir on that push And as you can see that hog rider is gonna get pretty decent hits and gonna take it one more hit hog nice one more hit and that is gonna definitely take it down a bit so that is that is perfect right there. Princess goes in. Going to be killing that Electro Wizard. He is going to get two hits on the tower. But that is okay. As this guy sends in a fireball. And honestly guys. I don't know what to do. I need to save the knight for the Inferno Dragon. Or for the barbs. So I think I'm just going to play Inferno Tower. I never ever. I will tell you. Never ever ever do this. Just it's such a bad play. But I didn't want to waste the knight there. So. I don't know. Let's go ahead and play our bats. Now, I don't like doing this. I don't like placing a building down early because, for one, as you can see there, of course he's going to have a tank, and I didn't know what he had. So I always like to keep it because most people will run tanks. And honestly, if you don't have the Inferno Tower, you're done. But if that Ice Spirit can get there before, oh, never mind. But let's go ahead and play our Princess. And we already are back to our Inferno Tower, so I'm really not worried about it. But just in case you guys should know just never ever do that that is the worst play let's go and get down an inferno tower right here let's get down some bats and an ice spirit and let's bring these guys over here nice nice we are going to be taking these guys out let's go ahead and actually log this back and i was actually hoping he'd target oh my gosh okay so it just happens to be we used our air units and now he has a loon so just happens like that that's all right we are going to be taking his tower down as well but this guy has a lot of cards that will actually indeed counter mine so that is a shame and right there that princess stays alive so we can go ahead and send over our hog rider with an ice spirit he's going to be playing electro wizard as we freeze him right there that is what i'm talking about let's go ahead and get down another princess right here get down a knight to help protect that princess he's going to be zapping that in front of tower so let's go ahead and get down an ice spirit with some bats and i think we're going to be taking down that pekka fairly easy and without a hit nice and hopefully that loon doesn't get a hit i should have brought it over with a okay nice he's in a fireball we'll go ahead and send over our lava hound and a fireball ourselves just want one crown at least come on give me one crown give me one crown nice there goes the hog rider for the one crown and we are going to lose that battle but that's completely okay with me. Uh, this is just a challenge. Not much. We're 10 gems, so, you know, it's alright. And we did get one win with this deck, so that's all I actually really wanted. But that guy had a pretty good deck. Let's go ahead and check out this. So, he was using P.E.K.K.A. Leap Barbs. Oh, look at this. Alright, so, you know what? We're going to jump into a challenge with John. This video is just all sorts of mixed up. But let's go ahead and jump into it with John. And let's see what's happening. So, we are playing the 2v2. He invited me to his game. So, let's just see. Still using that old deck. And uh, he hasn't really changed it much. But, this deck, guys, works pretty well. I've been using it. And, yes, you did see I have dropped quite a few. I have dropped quite a few trophies. And, uh, I, okay, he didn't need to log that, but yes, we still got the activation on the King Tower. That is what I'm talking about. I was going to throw up a thumbs up, kind of BM in a little bit, and nice. So, we are definitely in a better position now, and, uh, here goes a loon, but I can definitely go ahead, and what is that? Is that a hog rider? Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and play Night Witch so those bats can go ahead and get out, but he does freeze. Very nice freeze. He's going to be taking that first tower down pretty quick, and, uh, let's go ahead and send over our giant and a poison. Okay, so my giant did die, but we are pressuring these guys a little bit, and check out those elite barbs going to town right there. Let's go ahead and get down another pump, and uh, we got the two elixir pump advantage, so hopefully we can pull something through. Uh, still, I've only used this deck a few times, but I have enough experience with it to go ahead and use it more than that. But let's go ahead and take those guys out of here, get them away from my pump, and uh, let's protect that pump and keep it up and running. So, now... I am going to be starting a Executioner in the back, going for the right side so they can't get good damage and, like, they can't get, you know, okay. They they wouldn't be able, if I would have placed the or my Executioner on the other side, they definitely would have been getting some nice Elixir trades right there. Let's go and play our Giant. He thought I was going to play it on the other side, 
But nope, that's not going to happen. But that Inferno Tower, yes, it is still sadly going to go ahead and bring over my giant. But check that Executioner out. thought he was actually going to kill that darn Dark Goblin, but I guess that's not going to be happening. And guys, we are... We are not doing so well. So, Leap Barbs and and Skeleton Army go down. This could be eh, this could be an all right push. Let's go ahead and bring this over, and we can go ahead and tornado everything forward. Hopefully, into that and nice. So that tornado is going to bring into the Leap Barbs, and some skeletons should be getting hits off. Not going to be doing a lot of damage. And this one, guys, I think is safe to say we are going to lose this one. But you never know. Something could always pull through. And uh, I did not see them just send that Hog Rider right there. So. Right there, we actually take the Hog Rider out fairly quick. And if I can get a Giant down, no, I wasn't able to. But I can go ahead. And Titan hasn't been using his Lightning on the um, Inferno Tower. So, don't know what's up with that. This is when we could really use his Lightning if he could get it down. But it's not going to be enough value. Hog or Giant is going to already die by the time that happens. So, let's go ahead and throw down a Poison, actually. And, nice, let's go ahead and get down a Graveyard. And maybe we could go ahead and pull something through. But if he plays Bomber or Barbs, like you guys see right there, it is going to be done for. So, that is going to be a good game. And, uh, you know what? Good luck. And... Those guys killed us, alright? They crushed us. But if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead, hit that thumbs up. If you guys want to see more Clash Royale, more Clash of Clans, if you guys want to see more Brawl Stars, go ahead and let me know down below. And also, if you're at our new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. We are about to hit 125 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace out.